welcome to Backyard Science. My name is Marilyn. I work at the Marina Branch at the Monterey County Free Libraries. Generally, I do story time, but this week we'll be learning about some buzzing bees. We will look at some bees I found in my backyard and learn some bee facts. Bees are flying insects. If your first reaction of, to a bee is to be afraid that it might sting you, you are a little bit right, but for the most part, if you don't bother bees, they won't bother you. They eat the nectar and pollen from flowers. The nectar they eat themselves, and then the pollen they take back to their colonies to feed their larvae, or the young bees. Some bee species are solitary, but um, the most abundant ones in the U.S. are social honeybees that live in hives. Honeybees are eusocial, meaning they cooperate to care for young and they divide the labor between reproductive and non-reproductive adults. In a hive, you will have one queen bee that reproduces, the male drones that mate with her, and then the female worker bees. Now, here is what I saw in my backyard. around 230 times per second, depending on their size. Bumblebees actually buzz inside the flower to shake the pollen off, and some flowers have actually evolved to have looser pollen to exploit this characteristic. Bees are pollinators, which means that they carry pollen between the flowers, which gets the pollen onto the carpel of the plant, which pollinates it and helps it to reproduce. It's estimated that at least a third of all hum crops uh, consumed by humans depend on bees for pollination. So they're a very important part of the ecosystem. Not to mention all of the other animals that need plants to survive. Here is a slow motion look at a bee. And then this gives, I think this is, a, is at a quarter speed. So it gives you an idea of how fast bees are moving. <laughs> When honeybees carry pollen back to their hives for their larvae, they can communicate to other workers by dancing. This communicates the distance and the direction of the pollen-bearing plants for the worker bees. And they, sometimes they get very excited to try to convince the other bees that there is a good food source where they're directing them. Bees navigate using the sun and the earth's magnetic field. Most social bees have a single queen and will swarm in a huge group to find a new hive when the, old, when the queen gets too old to reproduce anymore. Generally, the swarm leaves once it finds a new home for the colony. If you ever see a swarm, generally if you leave it alone, it will move on to its new home. But if you find one in your house, you can also call a beekeeper to come and get it. Bees have been decreasing around the world so it's important to try to conserve bees when we do find them. Who likes honey? Me! Honey is sweet and sticky, and it's a bee's way of storing food. Bees make it from the nectar that they get from flowers. They bring it back to the hive, put it in little wax combs, and they actually um, use their wings to heat up and evaporate the water off of the nectar to concentrate it down into this viscous substance that they can store for when there aren't as many flowers around to give them food. Um, as you may know, humans have domesticated bees and they can harvest the honey. Humans got honey from wild bees long before we domesticated them also. There is a cave painting in Spain that is around 8,000 years old that shows humans using smoke to get to calm the bees and get their honey. Bees have unfortunately been decreasing because of pesticides, decreases in wildflowers and other, and other plants, habitat destruction, and factors like climate, climate change. So if you can plant bee-friendly plants in your yard like lilac, California poppies, rosemary, mint, and many others, it gives bees more food. We also observed them here in my nasturtium.
Well, I hope you learned something about bees today and that you go and find out more about them. To do that, you can, all, you can place holds on the Monterey County Free Library's website and we will contact you about curbside pickup and library by mail. Have fun exploring. Thanks for watching and have a great week. Bye.